if you want to uh, okay, work on MSBI, so first we need, uh, so the latest version is 2022, but the thing is 2022, we don't have a sufficient MSBI related stuff actually. So that is the reason we are uh, uh, now installing the, so 2019 uh, version actually. So we required Visual Studio 2019 and SQL Server 2019, SSMS 2019, in SSMS, so in SQL Server, we'll, uh, we'll installing, we'll select integration service, analysis service, and then reporting service, okay? So when we select all these things, okay? So then we can go and uh, start work on our Power BI, sorry, MSBI related stuff. So for now, I'm, um, uh, so the first step, I'm going to install Visual Studio 2019 now. So let's go here. You can type, okay, Visual Studio 2019 download. So, Visual Studio 2019 download this one. That's it. So, if you select this uh, Visual Studio Microsoft.com, it's always uh, try to um, you know install 2022. But 2022, so you can, even you can go with the older version, but it is asking some sign in and all. Okay, there is uh, some headache is there. There is a text uh, text uh, here. www.textpod.com is there. So just click on this one. So here you can, by one click, you can download. So this uh, free community trial edition is there. Just click on that one. So it will uh, just uh, close this art. So it will download immediately. So after downloading, you can uh, start installation. So it will take a few minutes of time. But, uh, it's, yeah, it's downloading here. So will take some time guys so after visual studio 2019 um, uh, so then we'll go for the sql server 2019 okay so let's go with this here so it's downloaded so you see so you have to click on yes okay just click on yes so and continue click on continue and then even if we don't require this browser so browser it has just close this browser Okay, it's uh, downloading and installing. So here you need to select, like if you want to, you know, .NET developers, so, but so for, if you are only for MSBI, you can go with the uh, data storage uh, and the processing this one. So select this one, okay, just select this one. So I'm going to select this one. And then if you wanted .NET, uh, some other things, okay, you can go and then uh, even, uh, so .NET related, even ASP .NET developer, and if you want a Python, so you, so you can go and then select that, but I don't want to uh, those things. So even Azure, so we can go and then select that. So this, this will, so you can go and then select after that, you can go and click on install. So it will be, in, so I have a, see this 2022, I have tried. So in uh, 2022, there is no uh, such kind of things. That is the reason. So I'm not expecting, I have already 2017 in my machine. So now I'm installing uh, 20, 2019. Okay, it's take some time so, uh, for downloading and installation. So we'll wait for a few minutes. Yes, okay, so just. Uh, still, uh, still it is in 35 and 32. So it's downloading and installation. It's it's based on your uh, internet speed. Okay, so based on your internet speed, the, the download will happen. So okay, it will take some time. So I'm going with that. Uh, wait, guys. Okay, wait for some time. So, so downloading percentage almost seventy nine percent, eighty percentage, and installation both are uh, doing parallelly, like download and installation. So it will take, okay, so five to 10 minutes of time based on your internet speed, it will take time. So after this uh, downloading and installation, I will explain, okay. So we'll wait for uh, the completion of this case, okay. So downloading, okay, downloading almost completed. It's 97 percentage, 98 percentage. So downloading almost completed. So the installation is going on now. 
download is completed. Installation almost to 81 percentage. <coughs> Yeah. yeah, so even uh, installation also almost completed. It's 99 percentage now. It's 99 percentage now. So only one percentage remaining. Once this finished, we can uh, set up the SSIS and SSRS. Uh, SSAS in our Visual Studio. Let's take a few minutes of time just to wait, please. 500%. Yeah, so after uh, so installation, uh, we can go and uh, so automatically it will launch this. So just uh, it's also ask the sign in. So not now, you can click on uh, not now and uh, we can go for. Uh, Maybe later. So, just if you want to give sign in, not a problem, but just I'm going with the maybe later. So, and select the blue one. So, don't se select the dark and uh, these things. Okay, so you can go and select the blue one. So, and then start Visual Studio. So, it will open the Visual Studio now. So, it will take a few minutes of uh, time. So, it's setting up everything okay, back and so that is the reason it takes a few minutes of time. So wait for that case, okay, so let's take a few minutes of time. So that, so it's launching now, so it's launching now. So it's, okay, so you have to click on without code, continue without code, just click on continue without code. So it will open a Visual Studio. So it has opened Visual Studio now. So Visual Studio looks like so earlier version we required so for uh, 2017 and before version we have to uh, install ssdt for the uh, msbi people but for now we don't require to install ssdt for 2019 so you have to go here in the extension so click on manage extension so in manage extension only whatever the, whatever you want you can download from here okay so like uh, so sql server integration service just uh, you have a here this one so just click here then download okay so it will take you to your default browser there it will download okay there it will be download it's downloading here so then after uh, you can go here and then you can download ss uh, yes okay sql server you can type here sql server analysis service so you can search like this so it will automatically the analysis service okay sql server analysis service this one okay so you can click on download but so we'll complete one by one process so once this is downloaded so then uh, uh, we'll go and uh, Once it's downloaded, you can go and sorry. So it's still downloading. So it's still it's downloading. We'll wait for this one. Download is almost completed. Only 37 seconds. Once it's downloaded, so we can start and so install that even uh, SSIS as well in our Visual Studio. So it's almost completed. So it's based on your speed, basically how it is downloading at all, based on your uh, internet speed. So it's take a few minutes of time to download this uh, data tools integration services. So first we are installing uh, SSIS and then we will go with the, uh, you know, SSEAS and then reporting service in Visual Studio. Okay, so then after we'll go for the SQL Server. Okay, first we we'll finish up this, then we'll go for we'll go with that. So we'll wait some time. So it's 
are most finished. <coughs> yeah, so it's done now. Open a exe file now. So even you can go to download there also. You can see. So whether, uh, just click on downloads. So here is the uh, you know Microsoft Data Tools Integration Service. You can click on that. So it will open a setup actually for uh, SSIS. Then so it's asking the language. Uh, so United States is okay. Click okay. So, and then uh, click on next button. So, before going to that, uh, so it will ask. So, any other process, okay. So, any other process is running the back side. So, we have to close all of them. So, we need to close all of them. So, first we'll close uh, this Visual Studio and all. And then after we'll uh, start again. So, for now, we'll close all these running programs. Okay, back end. So, if any other program is running, so we'll close that and then. So we'll next we click on restart. So still uh, one notepad is open. So that is the reason. So just to close that uh, one as well. So anything else. So even still we will close this one. So next click on install. So is there still? We closed everything. So then. Any other programs is there, so it's it will ask to close that. So, but uh, one, this one is a meeting is open. Go to download. So, click on next. So, next. Uh, click on yes. Okay. So after closing everything, guys. Okay, after closing everything, so then only you can able to install the integration services. So that is the reason I have closed everything. Now it is installing. So you have to click on that setup. Yes, yes, yes. And then uh, so it will ask the setup is in progress now. So once the setup is done, so we'll open the Visual Studio 2019. There we'll add again uh, two more extensions. Okay. So SQL Server Analysis Service as well as SQL Server Reporting Services. Then after we'll go with the uh, SMS see, and uh, SQL uh, Server. Okay, still it's okay. So we wait for a few more. So still it's okay. Uh, Fifty percent is completed to set up that. So we'll uh, wait for some more time. Once it's the setup is done, then we'll go for analysis service and then reporting service. Yeah. So the setup is completed. So we can close this and then uh, we'll open Visual Studio and then we'll set up for remaining two actually. So this is opening the Visual Studio 2017, just a minute. So we'll open Visual Studio 2019. actually. 2019 and then uh, we'll go for the now we have to install the SSAS and then SSRS. So go with the continue with without code and it will open a Visual Studio now. So go to the extension. Go to the extension and manage the extension. So click on, uh, so you just uh, search here, uh, SQL Server Analysis Service. So it will open. So here is the SQL Server Analysis Service. So you have to, uh, you know, so go with the SQL Server Analysis projects. So click on download. So it will take, uh, so the SSAS and then SSRS, the installation is same. Only SSAS is different, but it will take only a few minutes of time. So it's not uh, take that much of time, like how SSAS setup is done. Sorry, SSIS setup is done. The same way it's not uh, take that much time. 
So it, it will uh, download very quickly and then uh, we can set up also uh, very quickly. <coughs> so once this uh, installation and everything is done, so we'll uh, restart Visual Studio and then when you go with the new projects, okay, you can see all SSIS and SSRS, SSEAS related uh, things. So let's, let's take, it's taking some time to do it for it. Again, it's uh, based on your internet speed, just, okay, how much internet speed you have and all. So the same thing, okay, it will applicable. So it's done. Then again, we'll uh, search for the SSRS and then uh, SQL Server uh, reporting service, and then we'll download that. Almost done. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Here. So, done, guys. It's done. And then, so the installation is required. So it, the installation, okay. So your changes will be uh, scheduled. The modification. So it's, it will, so once we close this window, so it will uh, start install that. And then we'll go for one more thing. Uh, one more uh, thing is that uh, reporting services. So just uh, type uh, reporting service. Here is the uh, reporting service. Just click and download. It will also take few uh, few uh, minutes of time, like one to two minutes time. So then it will also download. Once you close this window, so then uh, both will be installed. So once you close and so close and then open, so automatically in, in your Visual Studio, you can see the MSBI stuff like uh, uh, integration service and then reporting service and analysis service, all these three, you can see in Visual Studio when you go, go with the uh, file and new projects, okay? So we'll see that case, okay, we'll see. Once the installation is done, so it's almost done. So it will take only uh, one or two minutes of time. So you can see that. Yeah. So let's close this. Let's close this. So then uh, the uh, C V V S A X V S I X installation is going on. So once this is done, so then um, so we are ready with the uh, Visual Studio. 2019 with the MSBI, MSBI stuff. Like uh, we'll have all these three, like SSIS and uh, SSRS and SSAS. So that's it. Okay, this is about the uh, this thing. And then next video, what we'll do? Uh, so we'll go with this uh, uh, SQL Server 2019 and then uh, 20 SQL Server 2019 SSMS 2019. So in um, SQL Server setup, so we'll go and then select this integration and then reporting and analysis service. Okay, guys. So hope that uh, is done. So yes, click yes. Again, one more VS Excel. This is for the reporting. Uh, so reporting service, I think so. So once this is done, so then we are almost done. But just click on modify. So when you click on modify, so it will uh, uh, take any modifications required for the installation for uh, so analysis service and that. then click on that modify. So automatically, so it will be installed for analysis service. Okay, it's installing analysis service. The same thing for the reporting service. So the same thing for the reporting service. Okay, so, okay. so the video is going to uh, end up now. So uh, the next video, like, so I will attach the to both videos. So like uh, uh, this SSIS installation and then uh, SQL Server installation as well. So we require database also. So, so for database also, I'm going to create a separate video, okay? So that's it for uh, in this video. So we'll uh, see in the next video, basically. We'll see in the next video for the